Why voice is important to me? I think voice is important because it's really a personal thing. It's how I can externalize whatever's happening inside of me to the outside world. It's simultaneously the most public and private thing about you. I have no idea what my life would be like if I didn't have a voice. I'm pretty convinced I might have come out with my mom's womb singing, so <laughs> a voice is kind of everything. I remember as I was growing up, that's all I did. My mom's family, um, <clears throat> there are lots of singing and lots of singers, so um, I could always be found, like, you know, with my towel hair and, you know, my fake microphone and <laughs> singing whatever I had in the CD player. It's just like really inspiring for me to see uh, trans musicians and trans folks performing and just putting themselves out there in front of a large crowd. Coming together to be together and there's something about singing together that brings us together in a really unique way. Just seeing the texture, the variety of people and realizing that this is not something unusual, that it, it is part of humanity, it's part of who we are as a people. And that's very empowering. It's, it's emotional. Ten years ago, trying to have a certain kind of voice for expression was important, but that had to do with me being able to embody my authentic self. And post-transition, I don't seem to have a concept of it. My voice is mine, and hopefully sometimes it just comes off genderless. But the voice is also one of the most gendered features or aspects of the, the human physicality. If I'm on the phone, uh, if I'm at the drive through ordering a cheeseburger, as soon as I speak, they, they don't have a camera or anything, they just hear my voice coming from the car, they, I have, you know, been served. I have been misgendered. And just the delicateness of, of um, respecting other people's experiences. And there's, um, but there's a whole lot of overlap, which is why, um, which is why it's good to get noisy. <laughs>